Hi, many of you have asked about my turkey meatloaf. I am so excited to be here today and share it with you. I've been making this healthier option for over 40 years. My girls loved it as kids. Let's get started by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. While our oven is preheating to 350 degrees, I'd like to go over all the ingredients you're gonna need for this simple recipe. You're going to need one package of onion soup mix, an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, two eggs, two medium carrots shredded, one small onion chopped finely, your two pounds of ground turkey meat, and two cups of oatmeal. In a medium to large bowl, mix your onion soup mix, tomato sauce, eggs, carrots, and onion. Now we're gonna need four ounces or half a can of water. Once you have these ingredients mixed thoroughly, let's add your turkey and your oatmeal. Make sure this is mixed thoroughly so it cooks evenly. I like to add oatmeal because it's very high in nutrients and a great source of fiber and vitamin E. Oops. Once your ingredients are all thoroughly mixed, it's ready for your loaf pan. I'm using a regular size loaf pan, but you can use many tins if you wish. This recipe will make one regular size or three mini tins one for you and two to freeze or share later. Now what you need to do is you're going to spray lightly because turkey is not as fatty as beef. We're gonna press this down because there are a few air pockets in there we need to get rid of. Oh my, it looks like I'm gonna have enough for one mini loaf. Well, these are all done. Let's get this into the oven. Our oven has preheated to 350. Now we're going to put the cook time on for 45 minutes. Mmm. Oh, the meat oh, smells lovely. One evening, my nephew came for dinner and he loved meatloaf. So I made him the turkey meatloaf. And he asked me, he said, may I ask you a personal question? And I said, well, sure you can. And he said, how come your meatloaf isn't swimming in grease like my mama's? 
And I said, well, it's turkey meatloaf. We all laughed a lot and he ate it all up. He loved it. Let your meatloaf cool for at least 10 minutes before serving. prefer a little bit of ketchup on top. It just holds in the moisture and I like the flavor. I've added the ketchup. I'm going to spread it. You can use the back of a spoon. Spread it over the top. Or if you have a pastry brush, you can spread it really fast that way. This meatloaf will keep in the refrigerator for three or four days. And if you have any remainder, it makes a great meatloaf sandwich. <laughs>